right, here we are, the Splinterlands Battle of the Week. We got Phantasm as the card, the special card of this week. It is part of the Death Splinter. I believe I've got a level 2. And there we go, we got the Death Active. Let's get it. Playing against XZJ in a neutral monsters battle. So no neutral monsters allowed. We're going to be coming out with Zintar Mortis. He takes a melee attack away from the enemy. And we're going to just put Phantasm up front. He's got nice 5 speed. It's a card I don't use often, but I probably should because it's got 7 health. It's only a 6 mana. I mean, I say only because you, you see, it could, go, it could go all the way to 9, 10, 12. He's only 6. He's got 5 speed and 2 attack. You pair him with the dragon, Daria Dragon Scale, and he, uh, he'll have a 3 attack and you know, a 5 speed, which is pretty lethal. Not to mention, he's going to be dodging bullets. We're going to put our fully loaded Corrupted Pegasus out there. I uh, actually earned that card by selling some Hive merchandise. So check out uh, Jago Merch. I post some merchandise often, and... Uh, I sell some Hive stuff, and I'm, I'm always willing to accept Splinterlands cards, Hive, HBD, and uh, Bitcoin, anything. So, come my way. i got some Hive merch for you. Anyway, sorry for the ad mid-battle, but I had to throw it in there. Throwing out Corrupted Pegasus. Fully loaded. This card only has went up in value since I got it. Anyway, what else can we get out here? Fallen Spectre, I got a level 2, it actually reduces the melee attack of all monsters. It's got a 6 speed and a magic flying ability. So pretty good, pretty good card. What else could we get in here? I think we should throw in some maggots, because the maggot will attack from any position, so it can attack from the last, and it'll leech the life away from some of the worst players on the team. I like the Undead Priest as well. It reduces the health of every enemy monster. So that's definitely handy. Affliction. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that one. I've got two mana left. I guess we're going to have to go with it. Uh, we're going to throw the Skeletal Warrior up here. Hopefully, I mean, time left. Time ran out. Let's hope we can get this in here, sneak it in. Uh, I'll blame it on the ad. I'll blame it on the ad. I threw an ad in there. Probably shouldn't have done it. But here we go. XZJ. What do you got? Coming out with a green earth splinter. He's got a Mustang unicorn. Unicorn Mustang. Brownie. Spirit Shaman. Wood Nymph. Chimer Princess and a Failed Summoner. Let's see what we could do. They all lose some melee. They all lose some health. They all gain some speed. Fall Inspector makes the first hit on the Unicorn Mustang. But Phantasm is getting hit. Unicorn Mustang got healed up. Corrupted Pegasus made a hit on Mustang. And Brownie goes down, so their speed is going to drop, which is nice. Round two. Fallen Spectre makes another hit, but doesn't take anything away. Phantasm dodges one from Unicorn Mustang. Unable to dodge from the Nymph. And the Maggots come in to finish off the Mustang. We, that is why we are a big fan of Maggots. Phantasm is almost dead here. But he has... What is he fighting? Oh, this card, there was a card here. A little glitch. But, um... Looks like we got this one in the bag. But not before Phantasm goes down. Corrupted Pegasus is not going to have that. And neither is Fallen Spectre. And that will be the game. 
fun match. Um, a nice win. We got five cards still standing. And uh, we'll catch you next time on the Splinterlands Battle of the Week.